Hi, I'm Jalimov, the curator of all things curious, and this week I was wondering what flavor of Monkey D. Luffy is my absolute favorite. Over the course of the anime, I've seen this guy wear dozens of outfits from samurai to spaceman, but how do they all stack up? I think you'll be just as shocked as I am to see just how many there are, and definitely which ones come out on top. Also, I know the title says every outfit, but there are likely a few dozen I missed. Like if I went over every color spread outfit, we'd be here all day, and this wouldn't come out on time. So I'm just going to be touching on the significant ones from that category. After I hit my 100th outfit scripted, I began to lose hope that this would ever come out, so I capped it off there. I did do just a few extras though, so I could put over 100 in the thumbnail. As I'm sure you know, the day is finite, so let's hurry up and get it on. Despite how classic it is, the regular Luffy outfit is the bar standard, so it's gotta go to C tier. Think of it as the control, it can get a lot worse and a lot better. <sighs> Come on man, Sanji would tell you himself, you weren't built for this. E tier. I think you should take your apron off and go home. For just being Nami's winter jacket with the sleeve torn off, this is super iconic. Can't really go over B for me though, because she did loan it to Luffy for the low low price of 100 million berries with interest. This might be controversial, but I'm not a fan of Alabasta Luffy's outfit. The colors, the look, none of it really screams Luffy to me. When I think of the Drum Island fit, I think of the epic flag moment. Luffy saving his friends, meeting Chopper, it floods me with pleasant memories to see this. When I see this fit, all I remember is the looping gif of Luffy throwing that right hook into Vivi's jaw. I don't really like her either, but we don't get down like that here, Luffy. The Chris Brown special's gotta rock a D. Thank you for coming to your senses. Simple, comfy looking, this is what we like to see. B tier. This quaint little filler arc was one of my favorite parts of One Piece when I saw it, so I do have somewhat of a soft spot for this part of the Straw Hat saga, but I mean, it's gotta go in E tier. He's just dressed as Marine Dope number 31,526. Firstly, this afro is the only reason the Straw Hats survived this confrontation and got to continue their journey, and you can watch my video about Long Ring Longland arc if you want to know why. But separate from the afro entirely, the boxing gear and chest tattoo is just a good look for Luffy. Top of A tier. All things considered, kind of an ugly uniform. Ditch the yellow hemming, man. D. See, this is what I'm talking about. This looks awesome. Also, he can finally afford a belt. Nice. A small touch, but a welcome one. A tier, because I feel like if I put it in S, you guys would make fun of me. As a first time viewer, I instantly knew shit was about to get real simply from Luffy deciding to put on black shorts. I don't know why it's so effective, but it is. Bottom of A tier. Cute little Galley Law tank top. I ain't got nothing against this one. C tier. Probably my least favorite of Luffy's eventual generational run of badass winter coats, but still not bad. High C tier. This one's always been kind of whack to me. Red and orange is a strange combo to say the least. Also, every time I see this one, it never ceases to have me stop and ask myself, who is making these little vests and shorts for this kid? D tier. Should have been orange shorts and a purple vest. Now that would be good. So I always thought Luffy's suit of armor in Thriller Bark looked a little silly, but then I saw it in the manga and realized it was supposed to be super silly. It went from bad funny to good funny, and I honestly kind of respect it now. B tier. Not gonna lie, I definitely skipped over whatever this was in the anime, but this is a really good one. It's comfy looking, indicative of his style, he's just dripping. I want this fit. A. I've never seen this either. Now you're just making up arcs. D tier. A lot of Luffy's outfits scream parentless 10 year old, which is a descriptor that fits him pretty well, but perhaps none more than the double floaty fit. His dumbass childlike wonder and the fact that he decided to wear his priceless treasure to the pool is giving off some BDE though. Hmm. Should I put it in B or D or E? Let's go with C. The second I saw Luffy in this shirt, I immediately realized this was perhaps one of the hardest things I had ever seen. The shark shirt is a guaranteed A. This one is kind of embarrassing. Makes me not want to watch whatever the hell this comes from. E tier. He's dressed like Santa in the jungle. Strange, but I kind of love it. Jesus! I like the other one better. E tier. S tier. I was so upset when he had them remove all the frillies and details. This adorable little sweater vest was made just for him with so much love, and he just spat all over that. Luffy is an asshole, and I want this vest. F tier. How dare you spit in the face of the hardest fit of all time. Also, this is just knockoff blue Luffy. I've always had a thing for Luffy in blue. I feel like it's just his color. Maybe because of him wanting to head to sea from a very early age, or being very boy-coded in general, which is why it's Finn Merton's favorite too, I don't know. I just always thought Red was more Shanks' style, and I want Luffy to find his own. Plus he has that cool armband, which is actually a zillion dollar treasure map for some old fart pirate. 
There was a lot going for Blue Luffy overall. Man, I'm just giving out these A tiers, but we're starting really strong. Oh, you can't trick me. That is not an outfit change. F tier anyways though, because this Thriller Bark fit is not doing him any justice when it's 30 or 40 sizes too small. Oh, this kid needs to just stop wearing yellow. Imagine your brother dying in your arms while you're wearing some shit ass McDonald's fit. Dude, that's embarrassing. E tier. Before I jump through and over the time skip, I think we should do a little bit of a little Luffy lightning round. Cause you can ask Ace and Sabo, this kid was throwing fits. Oh, 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 well you can only ask one of them, but you get my point. Always been more of a blue anger Luffy guy myself, but there's no reason we can't all get along. C tier. Is that tacky ass red anchor Luffy gone? Thank God I can't believe I gave that ugly ass rag a C tier out of pity. B for blue. So I thought this was just your average boy shirt with random numbers on it, but apparently the number 56 is like biblically important in One Piece. But this is a lightning round, so I'll spare you the crack theories and chuck this into my box I have labeled One Piece Iceberg. Oh, that's a trash can. Yeah, like I'd ever do that. Unless... B tier, cause you know I love a good mystery. Doesn't hit the same as the last one. Plus the school uniform just looks wrong on this kid, even more so than the marine getup. Plus he would not be allowed to wear that hat in school, let alone a Japanese one. E. Along with the American flag swim trunks, this is just an item that every American boy does, has, or will have at one point or another in their lives. B tier. The red on red shorts are a bit much for me, but I can't pretend this shirt isn't insane. It's got a cracked egg with a dead chick on it with text that reads Tamago Jiken, which I guess means the egg incident. Some people think that this is some wild egghead foreshadowing, but I'm not there yet, so I'm gonna take it at face value. I would wear the hell out of this shirt, context be damned. A tier. Luffy must have really liked this one, because he had a kainu give him one he couldn't take off. X tier. This is the first and only one in this entire video that has me speechless. There is nothing I can say about this shirt. Not one adjective bar indescribable could I place upon it. It doesn't even deserve C because that would require me to have some kind of feeling at all towards this. I don't. I feel nothing. I'm numb. X. I'm kinda eh about the sash around his waist in general, but I really don't like the color yellow on Luffy. And also, what's up with this flowy doe flamingo shirt he's got on? Give me the vest or give me death. D tier. This is just the same thing, but all sweaty and no shirt. C tier. The winter coat and sandals combo is a little disgusting, but I'm gonna let the Where's Waldo fit slide because it's kinda cute. I think Luffy was made to wear flowy stuff like this. Give the man a robe or a poncho or a cape or a dress for all I care. I'm there. Top of B tier. So apparently at the end of Punk Hazard, Luffy switches to this bone lion jacket. I don't remember that or at what point this dude switches jackets, but this one is so much cooler. Definitely an easy low S. He should have been wearing this the whole time. Maybe then I would have only fallen asleep twice during this arc. I did like the Yeti bros though. This is a good one. Kind of bringing a strangely effeminate vibe to the table, but in a good way. I feel like B is the right place for it. So even though this one is super simple and inoffensive, I'm putting it in F because this is part of the Starfish guy's clothing line and I hate him. I hate this thing. Hate is a strong word and I mean every letter of it. When did he even do this? I, I don't care. E. He looks like the lead singer of a boy band from 2010. This is not a good look. D tier. Thematically, great. You've got every color a star can be right there in this outfit. The sun god, yada yada, 56. Aesthetically, this is horrid. E tier. Now this is great. The black straw hat, the sunflower Hawaiian shirt, the glasses and beard. The only thing that could make this better would be some awesome Viking. <gasps> I'm gonna put both of these in A though, because the official Lucy outfit, the combination of these two is just way too cool. I love this stupid helmet he gets so attached to. Even more so than with Afro Luffy and everything else, when he wore this, I was like, damn, this is a different mode. This just feels right, he got that shit on. I'm a big Kinemon fan so far, and this carp suit he made Luffy is great. I will say it's not as cool as his frog costume or Zoro's kitty suit, but I do still get a kick out of this. I love that the entire time he had it on, he was just sobbing his eyes out. Good times. If he wasn't reeling from seeing Sabo again, he probably would have gotten quite a kick out of this fish suit too. B tier. So now we've reached somewhat of a strange part of our journey. As I write this video, I'm currently balls deep in the Dressrosa arc, so everything past this point is new to me. I'm not really the type to avoid spoilers, so don't fret, I've already seen a lot of these. My worry though is that there will be some outfits that are plot significant, sort of like how Afro Luffy or Lucy is, and I may judge it unfairly and then realize it grows on me later. 
If that's the case, I could always change my opinion in a later video. If this does well and I get to do another one, then I'll probably end up choosing Zoro or Usopp. Maybe Frankie? What do you guys think? But from here on out, these will likely be less based on actual experience and more so on the vibe. So if you disagree, leave a comment telling me why. There's no reason for Luffy to be repping these kind of rags this deep into the series, but it is very him. See. This is just the G8 one, but he got promoted, so one spot higher than that one, I guess? This is the first time I've liked this flowy shirt on Luffy. I think it fits the island, and more importantly, the outfit. Still don't like the yellow sash, though. High C tier. I googled what this one was and got jump scared by Foxy. He's seriously in something from this series that came out in 2015? Crazy. Don't be doing that shit to me though, for real. C tier. Okay, I was gonna at least try to defend the top half of this outfit, but then he put the fedora over the straw hat. Dude. No. I adore this one. Blue and red is a great color combo for Luffy, and this sun design is just as important to Luffy's character as it is cute, because it reminds me of the Blue's Clues logo. This looks really comfy, I have zero complaints at all, top of the list. Just look at it. Check out this insane figure of it. Is it real? I don't even care. Looking at these makes me really excited to watch the Wano arc. I really hope it justifies being as long as it is, because I'm pretty sure that one arc is longer than like my top 5 favorite anime all one after another. I wish there was a cowboy arc so bad. This one is conflicting to me. I finally got the purple-orange combo I wanted, but I still think this sash around his waist makes no sense. I've never felt like that's a thing Luffy would wear. He's all about comfort, breathability, flexibility, ease of access. He would not want to sit there tying this around himself. He probably can't tie a knot, why do you think he wears flip-flops? The Halloween colors really pop off the awesome black cloak, but my biggest gripe here is the red. It just kind of throws it all off. This would look better either with his regular shorts and sash, or get rid of the sash and throw on a purple vest, I'm just saying. It's still good, like an A, but it was so close to being really good, you know? And sometimes second place just stings more than last. Uh, S tier? What the hell, top of the list. Folks, can this be beat? I'm not gonna lie, it's not looking good. But you know what is? This. More of whatever this is, please. From Devil Luffy to Angel Luffy, and they're both S tier. Do I even need to say any more? They should make a gacha machine where you can get like little rubber Luffy toys, and they could all be these different outfits. The Gear 5 one would be super rare. I'd probably buy the machine out just trying to get this one though, not gonna lie. Hmm, not as good as the last kimono. I still dig this design, but I don't like the colors as much. Plus the sun has more to do with Luffy than, what, bees? Speaking of... I didn't really know what to call this one. It's a surprising A tier though. I say surprising because I'm the front runner in the war against red purple color combos, but they are the colors of royalty so I can give a pass to the king of the pirates I suppose. If you told me that one of the best outfits in One Piece was Luffy wearing a dress and some mischief big red boots, I'd probably laugh, but then I'd go, that does make sense though. You can tell how much he likes it just by looking at him. S tier. That's precious. Should have had a 3 on his shirt. F. A good number of these are labeled as disguises, and this has got to be the worst one yet. What is he disguised as, Chopper? That's like when Jake hides by turning into Finn. I'll give it an E, because at least I got to remember that funny moment. The crossover would go so crazy. Imagine Ooh is just this giant island on the Grand Line the whole time. There's actually a different Cartoon Network series that I think takes place in the One Piece world though. Too bad I've got to finish this damn show before I can make that video. Subscribe to see it though, it will come out. I feel like I've already reviewed this one four times now. D for being so nothing. Come on, do something crazy in these movies. Where's my cowboy AU? This one's better than the last, but still, so samey. C tier. Swim trunks and a scarf, huh? If I didn't have to keep going, I would discuss why I hate Luffy for a good 15 minutes, but I'll settle for an F and I'd like to move on. Well, it looks like he wised up halfway through the movie and put on something good for a change. If you're observant, you might be able to tell already, but I'm a big fan of this color he's wearing. It's rare to see Luffy in such a calm, muted color. I really like the vibe. And of all the times where this guy wears two hats, which is all too many, this one seems like the least egregious. What the hell? What is this movie about? I mean, this goes hard, damn, but we went from this to this to this? A tier. I was really gonna put it in S until I saw the flip-flops. Dude, give it up. Boring, D tier. Oh, look, there's the 56 again. I think I read somewhere that you can read the number 56 in Japanese as go mu, like go mu go mu no mi. Oh, I gotta save it for the iceberg. You, you didn't hear that. I feel truthfully foolish for thinking the two hats couldn't get any stupider. I like the design on the shirt, but we've had enough yellow for one day, don't you think? 
And what's up with the v-neck, man? Trying to branch out? Not a good look. What is up with him throwing these insane fits halfway through these random ass movies? This might be the most pirate thing Luffy has ever worn. We went from the bottom of F to the middle of S. Yeesh. Recently, I've noticed a certain phenomena that keeps happening to me. There comes a point in every long ranking video where my brain literally gives. It feels like when your knees buckle and your weight goes along with it. I don't even know what's happening anymore. This looks like shit. F tier. Okay, what? The hell. There needs to be a scientific theory explaining why this keeps happening. This is the same movie as this. Do they always make the first fit of the movie horrifically embarrassing so that the later ones look even cooler by comparison? I don't even know what to think right now, but there's no way Miami, Florida Luffy doesn't gum gum car crash his way into S tier. Wow, this movie really just gave us the good, the bad, and the ugly. This isn't the worst, but it's kind of just nothing. C tier. Um... There's a time and a place for me to say that I think Luffy can rock the shit out of a dress, but this is not it. This might literally be the ugliest dress I've ever seen, fictional or not. F. Looks like this is the grand finale of the five One Piece gold outfits we just discussed, Then this is easily the best one on the entire board, but I'm afraid if I put leather Luffy next to the flamboyant devil Luffy, there's going to be some accusations in the comments, so let's just keep these a few apart. So this seems to be an alternate outfit that Luffy wears in the movie Stampede from 2019, but I'm not lying when I say I really wish that this was just Luffy's new regular outfit. I adore everything about this one. His stupid flip-flops being traded in for some Geta, and this what I'd like to call flawless shirt. The red and white stripes not only scream pirate, but just kind of scream fun. It reminds me a lot of the fair. It just fits Luffy so well. Gotta be an S tier. Let's see what else he wears in this movie. He just had to blow it. Oh my god. Then he just throws on this orange tank. We seriously haven't seen this yet? D, because I'm, I'm just pissed off now. Taking a look at some of One Piece's forays into the world of gaming, we have a thousand storm Luffy from the mobile game of the same name. Luffy in a suit never really sits right with me, I wonder why. Plus aside from Gear 5, white is not this guy's color. He is way too much of a messy eater to be wearing something like this. D. What even is this game? This just looks like a jetpack joyride unlock. I'll give it a reluctant C because I bet I would want to unlock this if I was into whatever this game is. This is an A. He should be wearing this in the anime. That useless zipper is kind of an eyesore, but I love what he's got going on up here. The bandanas, the feathers, this is the shit. I want to like this, but I just don't. It's got a lot of conflicting vibes. Bandana and cape is a tad strange, and the NASCAR font is like... I can't see it as anything else. The egghead pants and the earmuffs don't really jive with any of it, and overall it's just kind of bland and forgettable. Gonna call it at D. I think that this is an S. A low S, but still. Ace would be so proud if he saw this, come on. Also, they're pirates. Luffy should always be rocking treasure like this. Holy shit. Yu-Gi-Oh Luffy? A tier. Holy shit. Genshin Luffy? A tier. Holy shit. Shadows of the Colossus Luffy? A tier. Holy, wait, huh? Oh, that just feels wrong. F tier. Why, why wouldn't you make it ace? It was right there. He's the older brother. I mean, ugh. Holy shit. So this one is a skin from the game One Piece Burning Blood, which I know literally nothing about. But either way, this costume just feels insanely special. If these were cards or collectible toys like I said earlier, this would be so infinitesimally rare. First of all, Luffy doesn't even ever get to wear this full set of armor outside of the weigh-in. It's like five minutes in the anime. And this platinum colorway with the royal blue instead of red, it, it just feels so righteous. S. Oh, this has got to be an S too. Luffy! What do you think he's Bruce Lee? For our last big grouping, let's go over the best of the best in terms of the color spreads. While I was combing through these, I was having such a good time that I was considering putting this video on hold and just ranking all of these instead. But I withheld that urge, showed a little self-restraint, and maybe I'll do that in the future if you guys are digging my One Piece stuff. Seriously, there was dozens of random fits I could have chose, but I think you'll agree that the 10 I went with deserve to be discussed. This is so 90s. I'm in love with it. It looks like the greatest sitcom ever, and it kind of is. Give me more of the Straw Hats just being bored and shooting this shit like the early days. A tier. This one is kinda bonkers. I would love to see him wear something like this in the show. Elbaf arc, maybe? A tier, because I'm already excited. 
definite contender for the hardest shorts of all time. A lot of promotional stuff just randomly gives Luffy a sword to make him look cool, even though right now he's not really the sword play and discipline type. But I find giving the guy a giant six foot bow even funnier. After a while of shooting arrows and missing most of them, he'd get to a point where he'd just start throwing punches. B tier. Is Luffy effortlessly good at everything he does? If I was to imagine Luffy surfing, it wouldn't look like this. It'd be like when he couldn't even stand on his skates in Long Ring Longland. Regardless, I love the feel of this illustration, and I love Luffy's outfit even more. Bro, oh my god. Solid B. Damn, this is the most thug-ass, gangster-ass shit I've ever seen. Is this the most Brazilian Luffy's ever looked? Oh, the soccer one. B, cause ball is life. Before I forget, and while we're on the topic, the thug-ass gangster ass reminded me of this outfit. The tattoos, the insane coat, one of the greatest he's ever worn, the literal chain around his neck, the bullet holes in his shorts, this is about as good as it gets. Of all his generally piratey ones, I think this is my all-time favorite. Why is this picture so profound to me? I'll save it for the color spread ranking, but the fit is nothing to scoff at here. It's a little hard to see, but this patterned shirt is one of my favorite things he's ever worn. I wish he ditched the piss-colored shorts for something a little easier on the eyes, so I can't go higher than a C, but I want this framed on my wall. I chose this one specifically because these green pants were calling out to me, but now that I see that his shirt says 1 plus 6 equals 4, I'm starting to realize something. Why is Luffy just 2D from the Gorillas? Or I guess why is 2D Luffy? Maybe not every single outfit in this video, but almost all of these would look so insanely good on this guy. If you're wearing something that immediately conjures up a Jamie Hewlett character in my brain, you are doing something right. A tier. Look at this, that is 2D! Can it get any more obvious than him being a literal fruit? This punk rock look is a must have for the S tier and these cowboy boots are entirely what did it for me. Whoa, the straw hats meet desert punk? These green pants aren't as good as the other ones, but I still fuck with the vibe. B tier. Something about this one is off, but not in a bad way. No straw hat, no little red vest. Jeans, that's what it is. Of all things, this has got to be the one time Luffy has ever worn jeans in the history of One Piece. I'm a fan of the bizarre and this one is just great. I almost thought it was law at first. This is one of the most unique depictions of Luffy I've ever seen. And honestly, I'm a huge fan, S. So this one is a promotional outfit he wore for ads for a One Piece theme park or like some kind of One Piece roller coaster or something, which sounds great, but that is really what it took to get this motherfucker to finally put a pair of shoes on, and that alone is getting an A. S tier. Don't even care what this is from. He has got his dogs out in the vacuum of space. He is a menace. Because of the over-the-top storytelling, I've always, even from the start of my One Piece journey, wondered if they would ever go to space. It seems insane, but is Fishman Island really any different? Immense pressure, staying inside of a pressurized area, though even with One Piece being One Piece, I still think it would be a bit much for the story. But I won't lie and say that I've always wanted to see it, and it's not like rockets can't exist with Vegapunk walking around. So everybody else is in agreement that One Piece takes place like super far in our future, right? Like where humans have gone to this strange other world from Earth, but since then totally forgotten about it? Hmm. Maybe I should do the One Piece Iceberg. God, it'd either be 15 hours or 29 parts, and I don't know which one is worse. And last, but definitely most mid, is live action Luffy. Nothing here feels like it fits right. As I've discovered or just known from watching so many of Luffy's adventures, he is all about loose, big, comfortable clothing. I really agree with him on that, so I always made a note of it, and I think it's safe to say that if I think something looks super comfy and chill, that he would probably share that opinion. So I don't think it's really a good sign that all of this looks so uncomfortable. Why did they make his vest made out of couch material? It, it looks like it's as thick as a quilt. That and his shorts both look two sizes too small. It's just a little off. It's not that bad, but I'm still gonna give it a D. And there you have it. All of Luffy's significant outfits pit up against each other. Here we have our top 20 outfits. Everything that managed to climb its way up to S tier. I'm a little too blinded by my own taste to try and say what this says about me, so I'm gonna leave that one up to you in the comments. Also, say what straw hat you'd want me to do this with next, and make sure to subscribe because I'm only a thousand away from 40k and that's nearly half of the way to that big hunk of plastic that I want so bad. I'm gonna extend one more big thanks to my Emperor Moth patrons, Gambit, Hoops McCann, Joe Wheelcar, and Noisy Pita. Thanks for watching, and stay curious.